Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd Very important in Islam to observe the rights of one another, the rights of your family, the rights of the parents. But today I want to speak about the rights of the neighbor, very briefly. The importance of observing the rights of your neighbor, whether Muslim or non-Muslim. They have rights over you. So at a, the minimal is that you should do those, you should not do things that are harmful and that bother them. For example, if you are neighbors in a con confined space or confined thing, you should not make excessive noise or even doing things that are going to harm, harm them in any way. Parking in their parking place, excessive noise, etc. So at a minimum, you should at least respect them to the degree that you're not harming them. The Prophet ﷺ said, La dharar wa la dirar. That there is no harm and there's no reciprocating harm. Alayhi salatu wa salam. And the neighbor, the haq of the jar, the haq of the neighbor, is incredibly important in Islam. And the reason we know this because the Prophet ﷺ said in an authentic hadith that Jibreel kept advising him, kept letting him know that the right of the neighbor is so great, so much so that the Prophet ﷺ began to think that the neighbor had a right to inheritance. And we know that only certain individuals inherit from you that are your... Uh, blood kin or your wife your wives or what have you those people who have a right in the sharia according to the quran and the authentic sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam to inherit from you so it shows us what not that your neighbor inherits from you but their rights are so great that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam began to think that perhaps the neighbor would inherit and that shows how much jibril alayhi salatu wasallam was and uh, letting the, uh, the Prophet Wasallam know through revelation that the right of the neighbor is, is, is great. So try to extend kindnesses, small ma'un, small kindnesses to them by, you know, if they need something to loan to them or food or what have you. Those are the, that's the right of Islam. That's the beauty of Islam. Extending that kindness even to the neighbor uh, as well as, of course, your family and your friends and, and, and greeting those people you know and those people you don't know. An Umar wa Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anhuma qala qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ma zala jibreelu yusini biljar hatta dhanantu أنه سيورثه متفق عليه. عمر ابن عمر رضي الله تعالى عنه and Aisha رضي الله تعالى عنها. they both said that the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said that Jibril advised me so much or, or used to advise me so much about the neighbor that I began to think that he would inherit uh, that he would be of those who inherit and this was in you'll find it in Bukhari and Muslim so again it emphasizes for us the importance of being respectful to our neighbors kind and gentle to our neighbors not harming our neighbors and having hopefully at least amicable ties with your neighbors. You may not have to be the best of friends, but at least it's a respectful relationship that you're not harming them in any way. And so we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless, of, bless us to be of those who meet the rights and responsibilities 
that Islam has ordained upon us for all of hum humanity. And may Allah forgive us of our sins and raise us up amongst the ranks of the righteous. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika and ushrika bika wa ana a'lamu wa staghfiruka lima la a'lamu. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya na Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.